Hi hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about net metering for a solar system. So first, what is net metering? Net metering is a system that connects your solar panels or your other alternative energy source to the public utility grid. And if you overproduce, you get credit for all that power that you overproduce. What type of credit is depending on the utility company and the tariff that you agree upon signing into. So in our situation, we have a one-to-one -one tariff. So for every watt that we produce, we get one watt credit. So if we use 100 kilowatt hours and we produce 100 kilowatt hours, we've offset our bill 100%. But let's say we produce 150 and we only used 100, but we got a credit of 50. The next month, say that we use 150 and we only produced 100, then we take that 50 that we got credit for and we offset that month's bill. That's basically your net metering. Now there's different types of agreements when it comes to that. Some utility companies don't even offer it. Other ones offer a monthly, other ones offer a yearly, and some offer the difference in your watt. So let's say your watt costs you 10 cents a watt, and they'll only pay you back five cents a watt. Just depends on the utility company in your area that you're located in. In ours, we're lucky because for every watt that we produce, we get paid exactly for what it would cost us, what we consume. So let's say it's 10 cents. If we produce it, we get paid 10 cents, not with a check, but with a credit on our bill. And something that's very important is a net meter can read in two directions. What is being consumed and what is being produced. So our solar panels are producing power. So everything that we produce comes in. This meter is able to read what we produce and what we consume. And then it gives a net between the two. And then we're able to offset our bill that way. Most meters are one directional. How do you know if you have a net meter? Well, you're gonna see it right here. It says net meter or a big NM sticker or something on the glass itself or on the back side of that panel. But this one right here says net meter right there. If you don't have that and you believe that you have a net meter, you can always reach out to your utility company and check and see what type of meter you actually do have. What if you don't have a net meter? Will your meter spin in reverse or your digital numbers go in reverse? The answer to that is no, it will not. And here's something that I personally ran into when I installed our solar system and I was testing it to make sure that everything was working correctly. We had the old meter on that was that one directional meter that only shows what we consume. Well, I turned on my solar system for more than my two hour allotment that the utility company gives me because I was unaware that they only give you two hours to test your system. Well, I left it on all day and I was setting alarms off at the utility company showing that we were uh, consuming so much electricity that something was happening at this location. So what was happening was it was a one directional meter, meaning everything that we were producing and everything that we were consuming, we were being charged for both of them. So we were being double charged. So let's think about that. If we consumed 30 kilowatts that day, I don't know what it was, but let's say if we consumed 30 kilowatts and we were producing 30 kilowatts, that means we got charged for 60 kilowatts because this meter, well, not this one, the other meter that we had installed was a one directional. So everything that was coming into that meter was showing consumption, not uh, producing and consumption and given net. That's why it's very important to have that net meter. So the natural question is going to be, how do I get a net meter? Well, we had to sign in a tariff agreement at the utility company and that tariff agreement was one to one, like I mentioned earlier. But even to get signed into that agreement for producing power for what they'll pay you for it, you have to get an electrical permit, or we did, this is our scenario. We had to get an electrical permit, then we had to go to utility company and get the okay that we can build our system. And then we built the system, then we turned our past or approved electrical permit over to our utility company. They reviewed it, approved it, and then they brought a meter out. Um, we had to sign that a tariff agreement. So luckily ours was one-to-one -one and 
I, I feel like that's the best way to go. If you have a one-to-one, -one, then you need to be jumping all over solar because you don't need, well, I can't say you don't need it. If you don't have a battery, they're acting as your battery backup and you're not paying that extra 12 or $14,000. That's if you install it yourself for that battery backup to batter, you know, power your house. We're gonna use a generator for the time being if the power goes out because we're grid tied. So if the power goes out, we don't have a battery backup. We're without electricity, but I do have a generator to keep the essentials running. And now we're gonna take a closer look on how to read a net meter. There's several things in the screen here that you need to know. So I'm gonna bring you in closer, show you this cycling through its processes, and we'll discuss what the display numbers actually mean. I'm only gonna to touch base on the ones that you really need to focus on if you're trying to figure out your power bill, I guess. So I took this image in the early morning around 8 to 8.15, and you can see 01 represents the power that we have consumed. And we're, this, these numbers are gonna be those important numbers, 01, 02, 03, uh, 04, 05, not so important to me. Uh, we'll kind of take a look at them real quick. This arrow here, is consuming so we're consuming the power if that arrow was right here we would be producing more than we're than we're consuming and sending back to the grid in the images that i have i do not have that arrow because i did it intentionally because i wanted to show you guys although we're behind when we first wake up in the morning and you'll see that in the next picture right now we have 68 kilowatt hours we'll just go ahead and go to number two number two we have 59 so we're eight kilowatt hours behind. So in zero three, you'll see that it confirms that eight, we've used eight kilowatt hours. So that's what we're being billed for at the moment on this billing cycle. And you can see that we're still consuming because it's early morning. And if we go to four, this is the number of kilowatts that we've used over a 24 hour period. I think that's the max that we've used in a 24 hour period. I don't really pay attention to zero four and zero five. It's really zero one, two, and three is what i watch zero five it's always been zeros it's been nothing but zeros for us once it goes zero one two three four and five you, this comes up next and it goes back into one two three four and five and it usually shows the like zero one for four or five seconds and then it moves on and just rotates constantly so then later in the afternoon i took these images and now the sun's already setting in the west so we're still consuming electricity but all day we have been producing. So the arrow would have been over here. We were producing and I'll show you why. Now we have 71 kilowatt hours, but watch what happens when we go to uh, the second picture. We have what we produced at 76, meaning that we overproduced the entire time. We actually overproduced by 13 because if you remember early in the morning, we were consuming net eight. Now we have consumed a negative five net. So we're actually being back in credit and then tomorrow it'll, it'll do the same thing. So we're, we're pretty close at being net zero consumption. And then we'll just look at four and five here real quick. You can see that that's the same as it was early in the morning and five is still zeroed out. And then we have that same screen as it cycles back through. So there's different types of meters. This is not the only net meter on the market. There's different type of manufacturers. And on this one, it's got zero, one, two, three, four, and five. We really focus on that zero, one, zero, two, and zero, three, and those two arrows, one to the right and one to the left. The one to the right means we're consuming. The one to the uh, left means we're sending power to the power grid. So if we produce more power or as much power as we consume, the lowest our bill will ever be is probably around that 14, well, around $15 a month. So that's a lot better than paying two or $300 a month at this time. And I do believe the energy is going to go up. It's not going to go down. Now, something that's cool about solar is our current price that we have in our solar system. I've done a video on that and I'll link it right up here somewhere. And you can see exactly what we paid for our complete system. Now I did design, permit, install, and commission this system completely with never hiring anybody to do it. I did get uh, help from a couple family members to help me put the panels on a roof, but we have no install fee 
in our system so it gives you a good idea of what all your hardware would cost versus maybe looking at one of those national companies that are, I, I feel are ripping people off. With that said, our investment should pay itself back in a matter of three to five years. And being that we're getting that one-to-one -one net meter, we're gonna pay off our system so much faster. Now that we know what a net meter is, what net metering is, how to get one, do you have one? Hopefully you learned something in this video today. And if you did, please smash that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. If you like this type of content on my solar system or just things that we're doing around the property, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap that little notification bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. And I wanna thank you for sticking with me to the end of the video. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys in the next one.